Public UGC is here, and you need to know how to upload them so that you can make Robux. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Tri CC here, and today I'm gonna be telling you guys about the new Public UGC news that Roblox has just released. Pretty much, Roblox has announced Public UGC to all their players and creators, which will allow everyone that has a verified ID and a Roblox Premium account of $10 or higher to upload their own UGC accessories and sell them on the marketplace. And as long as you meet those requirements, you can easily upload your items today. To start off, we're gonna go on Roblox Studio and we're gonna import the file of our UGC. Once you do that, it should just spawn right in front of you. And then you just wanna add the texture to it. So you just click on it, you go down to the properties tab. Well, make sure you click on this little arrow and go to the actual mesh. Then you can go down to the properties tab and where it says texture ID, you click it and it should let you upload a file if it doesn't give you the option to upload a file though all you have to do is go up to the file in the top left corner and save this base plate to roblox after you do that then it'll let you upload a file for the texture so yeah as you guys can see i uploaded my texture and now my pancakes are colored this is going to be my ugc item next we're going to import a rig to position the ugc onto so go to the top left and click avatar then you can press Rig Builder, and you can make sure it's on R15 if you want. I don't know how good it'll work with R6, but I just use R15, and then you can click Block Avatar. Once one spawns in front of you, you can now position your UGC on top of it or wherever you're gonna put it. So on the back, on the shoulder, around the head, on the waist. However you're gonna put your UGC, you can do that now. But yeah, after you've done that, your UGC just should look just like this on top of the rig nice and positioned and next we're going to use a plugin to make the ugc an accessory in roblox studio for this we're going to go to the plugins tab and we're going to be using the asset creator plugin right here so first we're going to click the asset pl uh, creator plugin then we can click accessory click next and then we'll click on the model of our ugc and click next again and now we need to select the rig this is why we needed to position the UGC on the rig first so that the accessory knows where it's gonna be placed. After we do that, you can click next. And now, make sure you pick the right position for where the UGC is actually connected. So for me, I'm gonna be picking a hat or I can just put a head, any, either one. Whichever one is closest to where your UGC is placed is what you wanna choose. And lastly, you can just choose any of these I usually just choose classic. I don't know what these other ones do. So I'm just gonna choose classic, click next. Just click next one more time. And now you have an accessory. It should have duplicated it and made it hover right over your rig. You can X this out now, the asset creator. And you should find your accessory somewhere here. There we go. Here's your accessory. From here, we're pretty much ready to upload. All we have to do now is get a thumbnail for the UGC. So we're gonna use another plugin called UGC Thumbnail Tool. And pretty much, it's literally what it says. It's just to get a picture of the UGC. So you're gonna click your UGC model, the one that, that you made an accessory. Then you're gonna click UGC Thumbnail Tool. And now just position your UGC inside this little box. After you do that, just click accept in the bottom right corner. And now your UGC is done. Now to upload it, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. To upload it, click on your UGC. But then we're gonna go to the Explorer tab. We're gonna go to the accessory. We're gonna right click. And then we're gonna go all the way down to save to Roblox. And click that. You should see a window pop up. And if you're able to upload accessories, it should say avatar item right here. Once you click that, you can edit the name. So I'm just gonna say pancake stack. Put whatever description. And now, as you can see, we clicked avatar item. All you have to do is click the category of your UGC. So the same thing as we did before, just select where your UGC is actually placed. So for me, I'm just gonna put hat. As long as your validation is succeeded, you should be able to upload. It costs 750 Robux to upload, and that's just the fee to upload it. That's not even the fee to actually upload it to the marketplace. So yeah, as you guys can see, 
I put a little tag here and now I'm about to pay and submit my UGC. Once it's uploaded, now we can go to the creator dashboard on the Roblox website. Now on the creator dashboard, all you have to do is go to your avatar items, go to accessories and make sure you filter out the accessory type and you should see it right here. As you can see, there's no thumbnail or picture yet. This just means it hasn't been verified and like reviewed to make sure it's appropriate but you can still click on it to look at the settings so you can change the name the description the tags here you can make it a limited or just a not limited so you can have as many copies as you want and here you just change the price and once it's reviewed and everything you can just publish your item and it'll be in the marketplace so yeah as you guys can see my ugc is uploaded and it's ready to be purchased in the marketplace but yeah i hope this video helped you guys out and i hope you guys enjoyed it as well if you guys have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them in the comments. And yeah, like and subscribe.